speech, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages of the starship Toastmaster. Its continuing mission, to explore strange new worlds, to end the fear of standing alone while dozens of eyes pierce your very soul. <laughs> to boldly go where no speaker has gone before. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, fellow humans, I am Captain Croc of the USS Toastmasters. <laughs> what I am, it says right here. I'm here from the future to inform you, 500 years from now, Toastmasters is vastly different. I have here one of your current meeting agendas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just astounded at how truly backward you 21st century Toastmasters really were. <laughs> All right. No offense. I mean, word of the day? One word? We reference entire speeches. Famous ones, like Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream, and Jack Nicholson's, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> also, we no longer meet in antiquated boxes like this. In the future, at the touch of a button, we can be transported anywhere in the universe. We've held meetings on the rings of Saturn, on the surface of the moon, and right here on Earth in the middle of the Antarctic. Okay, that last one, <laughs> not well thought out. <laughs> You get the idea. Our contests are incredibly spectacular. Oh, by the way, that little contest coming up next, the World Championship, in the future it doesn't exist. It's been replaced by the Universal Championship. <laughs> future generations travel throughout the galaxy competing against Klingons, Romulans, Ferengis, and Cardassians. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, not those Kardashians. <laughs> I'm disappointed today. <laughs> ah, there's so much I could tell you about Toastmasters in the future, but none of you will live to see it, so why bother? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Yes, sir. I'm at the speech contest. Now? You can't get anyone out? Fine. You're the boss. I'm on my way. I'm sorry. I have to leave. You see, I'm not really a futuristic Starfleet commander. I'm a sales agent for Priceline. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. William Shatner is my boss. Who do you think thought of all the Star Trek nonsense? But listen. If anyone still needs rooms in Modesto for the spring conference, I have some killer deals. Call me. <laughs> Make it so.